Hey everyone, it's Mac Minion. Today we're diving into macOS 26.1 Tahoe, the latest public release now available for every supported Mac worldwide. This update launched, launched alongside iPadOS, iPadOS, WatchOS, and even VisionOS 26.1, bringing a full refresh across the entire Apple ecosystem. The installer size varies, about 3 gigabytes on an M4 MacBook Pro, but depending on your device and current version, it can range from 4 to 15 gigabytes. The final public build number is 25B78, which means it's newer than the release candidate. If you were already running the RC, you'll still need to install this version manually. Just open System Settings, General, Software Update, and if you're still on the beta channel, toggle Beta Updates off. That usually makes the public build appear right away. Let's talk about what's new. Because Apple didn't just push security patches this time. They've quietly refined nearly every layer of the Tahoe interface. The first thing you'll probably notice is the Macintosh HD icon. The old metallic panel with its tiny front lights is gone. Now it's flatter, cleaner, and perfectly aligned with the new liquid glass aesthetic. External drives also get a visual refresh. Plug in an SD card, an SSD, or an external hard drive. You'll see redesigned icons that finally look consistent across Finder. Next comes liquid glass customization. In macOS 26.0, Apple introduced those semi-transparent glassy panels. Now, in 26.1, there's a new toggle between clear and tinted modes under System Settings Appearance. Clear gives that pure, see-through acrylic look. Tinted softens the transparency for better contrast in darker spaces. Open music, drag the window, and you'll instantly see the frosted tint fade in. It's a subtle touch, but it makes the interface feel calmer and easier to read. Apple also added a new feature under privacy and security, background security improvements. It's an evolution of rapid security responses. Your Mac can now receive small background patches automatically without waiting for a full system update. If a patch causes trouble, Apple can roll it back remotely and reissue it later. It's quiet, automatic protection, a kind of invisible armor for your Mac. In Launchpad, Apple expanded the layout. Now you can see more apps on one screen without scrolling. It's a small change, but on larger displays, it finally feels efficient and complete. The TV app also got a rebrand. The Plus is gone. The icon is new, the sidebar is cleaner, and the name now simply reads Apple TV. That same update is already live on iPhone and iPad, unifying the whole experience. Across the system, menus received a quiet refresh. Drop-down items like Quit, Hide Others, and Preferences now include small glyphs beside them, a subtle but elegant touch that makes every app feel more modern and consistent. The Music app added a new feature called Auto Mix over SharePlay. It can blend songs by matching tempo and rhythm, crossfading like a lightweight DJ mode, and it even works live when you share playlists with friends. Perfect for parties, or simply keeping the music flowing seamlessly. Apple Intelligence also expands to eight new languages. Danish, Dutch, Norwegian, Portuguese, Swedish, Turkish, Vietnamese, and Chinese. Russian support is included as well. These updates connect with the Translate app and even the AirPods translation feature, though not every language is available in every region yet. So, if you're experimenting with multilingual dictation or rewrite tools, macOS 26.1 opens the door to a much wider range of languages and users. The phone app received a facelift as well. The dial pad now features a bright, translucent white instead of the older gray, perfectly matching the system's new liquid glass design. Under screen time, communication safety is now automatically enabled for existing child accounts aged 13 to 17, depending on region. Parents can still toggle it off, but it's a strong default step for family privacy and protection. A few system level improvements are worth mentioning. FaceTime now handles low bandwidth calls far better, fewer robotic voices, smoother audio recovery, and more reliable quality overall. Pixelmator Pro and GarageBand have finally refreshed their icons to fit the new Tahoe visual language. For enterprise users, Apple has refined device management services. Admins can now skip OS showcase panes during setup, enforce update deadlines without a Not Now option, and use secure Enclave-based SSO authentication so users don't need to re-enter passwords during registration. A thoughtful update for IT environments. 
And when it comes to security, macOS 26.1 is one of the biggest patches yet. Over 30 modules have been updated, from core services and disk images to shortcuts and system frameworks. One key fix closed a vulnerability that could let apps access private user data. Apple resolved it through improved state management. Every CVE credit is listed on Apple's official security updates page, and it's a long list. So even if you're not after new icons or features, this update is worth installing for the security improvements alone. In daily use, macOS 26.1 feels noticeably snappier. System settings open instantly, animations are tighter, and the small lag that sometimes appeared when checking for updates is gone. On the M4 Max, everything runs buttery smooth, and even older Intel and M1 models show solid performance gains. Battery life remains consistent. Editing, browsing, or streaming on battery delivers roughly the same runtime as version 26.0. No dramatic boost, but no extra drain either. Battery health also holds steady, still at 100% after months of optimized charging. Looking ahead, Apple is already preparing macOS 26.2 Beta 1, expected to arrive within days. That will likely be the final public update of the year, with version 26.3 entering beta in January, and the major Apple intelligence expansion, including the enhanced Siri, arriving around 26.4, sometime in March. Overall, macOS 26.1 Tahoe doesn't reinvent the Mac, it refines it. Visuals are cleaner, security is stronger, and the whole system feels smoother. If you've been waiting for a stable moment to upgrade, this is your green light. Update with confidence. Thanks for watching. If you found this breakdown helpful, leave a like, subscribe for more Apple deep dives, and share what small details stood out to you the most. See you in the next one.